oh look finally somebody different on the screen besides omen is that because they're a new like pair of champions or what like it'll be a two for one like fucking princess peach plus luna or whatever in smash brothers not princess peach the other one from galaxy which i've never even played that's kind of a weird uh design is there one like that in overwatch i feel like there's not where it's like two characters in one it'll be like fucking ice climbers or something but no uh today is kind of a weird day because it's sort of triumphant in the sense that we've guaranteed based on what we saw last time with the free champions that i'll get to play every champion pretty much guaranteed because i have enough resources between the tokens and the gold and stuff that i should be able to play as every single champion in the game over the course of this run now that's nice and all, but it's really just a result of cheesing with the free ones that they give you every week. Now going into this series, I didn't know that there were even going to be free ones that they would give you or they'd be so generous, but that kind of keeps it on life support. So the only condition I added, which wasn't even there at the beginning, is I have to play at least two games every episode. And of course, this will be another ridiculously short one, so I'll only have time to play two regardless. But all I need is like one more free hero. And the rest I have enough between tokens and gold and stuff like that. And so basically, you're in a position where I almost deserve to not get one just because of how much I've abused and taken advantage of the, the free ones. But like to recap on this format a little bit more, Delight. Oh no, it's just a skin. Um, it's like, you know, it's the first playthrough. It's obviously the gauntlet format that I always like to do with multiplayer games. You could do it with League. I've done it with Overwatch, whatever. Like where you go through every character until you lose. Then you play, then you can't play them anymore. You have to move on to another one. And then when you exhaust them all, or when you don't have any more, like that would be a relevant factor in Overwatch more. Like you can't afford to get them or you haven't unlocked them yet. So then it just ends. So I didn't get to play even close to every single one in that because I didn't get far enough. You should be able to within reason, right? Save up all your resources and stuff. Like I have those three champion tokens, which I assume you can just buy anything with. I haven't used one yet, but... Yeah, that should guarantee my safety so it's it's sort of like a bittersweet thing at least we got to play as every single one but the performance isn't exactly the greatest but it still shows you the the point of the format is very fun there's like a high stakes element to it and obviously you're trying to go on better streaks so in maybe somebody more competent hands it would look a little bit better too but it's a good format in a lot of these kind of games but no i i didn't use the shop system i just let it auto purchase the whole time I didn't use like the talent trees or anything like that aside from when you just go in the game you just choose one at the beginning and part of that is maybe you unlock more stuff in the tree once you actually win a couple games and level up in your mastery stuff which I haven't done too much anyway but I never really looked at that so I didn't mess with the shop I didn't mess with the talent trees I didn't uh obviously I'm playing each of these characters for the first time so none of that's like an excuse it's just laying out like what the format actually was so we have these two to play zero for flank two tanks to play, and two of these to play. So one of them actually is free, so that's a great sign. So that should guarantee it right there, right? I play as this, so I have, let's say, don't accidentally click something, but yeah, you have three champion tokens and 60k gold. So let's say we bought that with the 60k gold. This guy's already done, right? So now champion token, champion token. Oh, maybe I overestimated a little bit. Or I guess I was assuming that I could buy... Like, these are both 30k. That's what could fuck me up, is if one of these were free instead of, like, a 60k one. Like, is this guy even 60k? He's only 15k. What the fuck? Uh, so you could buy those two with 30k. 30k, 30k, then token, token, token. So if you do the math that way, it would work. But what if... Wait, no. can I already do that? No, but if one of these comes up as free... No, but that wouldn't hurt me, because then I just wouldn't have to do it. 30k, 30k, right? I just want to really be sure that this is like in a safe peace of mind thing. 30k, 30k is done. Then one, two tokens, three tokens. Assuming again, that's how they work. It'll say, oh no, it can only be used to buy one that's 15k or something. So I, I have like healers a lot in this game, but there is sort of a weird quirk of them that they don't have enough abilities actually. Like they only have one healing ability sometimes. Hurl your massive axe every 0.9 seconds, dealing 350 damage and additional damage to targets farther away. Uh, throw your axe to cripple an enemy. This almost seems like a tank setup, the way that, you know, a lot of tanks have these kind of slow melee weapon type things. Throw your axe to cripple an enemy, doing 400 to them. Blossom, passively heal enemy. Oh, I don't like the passive ones, though. Around you for 75 every one second. Activate this ability to provide nearby allies with a burst of healing 600 and 300 over 2.5 seconds. Why does that seem bugged out, like dot dot? Or maybe there's more to the description. Some of them have, like, gotten cut off like that, which is kind of weird. 
Like, it'll clearly be trying to say something more. Launch a vine from your body and pull yourself to your targeted location. Yeah, this guy almost seems more like he has tank abilities or something. Yeah, I guess he's a sort of a tank hybrid. Tank healer hybrid, maybe? Channel your nature's power. Rapidly healing nearby allies. So it's all passive shit, though, too. So not only do you only get, like, one healing ability, but you also fucking have to just sit there like Lucio Clown from uh, Overwatch. Yeah, you saw how much harsher the... The Overwatch format was because they wouldn't give you these free handouts. But I'll defend it by saying, on one hand, I didn't know going into this playthrough that there would even be free champions. And on the second hand, I didn't, uh, I guess, I didn't set any rule like, oh, you have to do such and such per episode. The only one that I came to is I have to play two games per episode, which doesn't seem like a big deal. But all it means is, like, let's say nobody was free today. Then I would have to buy two of them and guarantee... Well, I would have to buy at least one of them and win a game to be able to play a second game. Or I'd have to lose the first one and then buy a second one. And so in that case, it would be a little bit hard. Or I guess you could look at it like, I should have made it that I have to win at least one game every episode. So if I lose those two, then I have to do a third one. But some some episodes, that just doesn't happen. Like, where, whatever, you just can't win a game. Like, I don't use that as an excuse either. Like, all these things that you could use as an excuse, right? Like, oh, no shop, no whatever. Playing it like an arcade game. That's one thing I like about Overwatch more, that it doesn't have a shop. But no, like, even the fact that I... Oh, it's multiplayer. That's the whole point of the format that I like. Is like, you can't use that as an excuse. If you win, you get carried by your team. That still counts. If you lose, your team sucks. That still counts. So it's all part of the thing. And you should at least be good enough or solid enough to, you know, stay the course and not fail because of that. Hurl your massive axe every 0.9 seconds. Okay, I'm just trying to understand based on this. It's always different when you actually go in and use it, obviously. Especially the alts can be so wild. The way, you know, you can't understand exactly how it's going to work. Become a dragon and fly around like fucking Imani skill-based alt that everybody is triggered by. So F is a little hook shot. Q is this, the heal. Uh, over 2.5 seconds. Every 75... For 75 every 1 second. And it has a 10-second cooldown. But then when, how long does it last? I guess it doesn't exactly tell you. Throw your axe to cripple an enemy. Yeah, just attack, stun, heal, hook shot, and then just heal some more. Not really the most exciting type of healer. So what would be really cool here is if I just won the game, so then I could at least play two. Or if I win both. What a crazy idea. I think my record overall has been maybe better on average with healers. Because I'm just like actually a willing healer, but I don't know. I'm not really the type to worry about getting flanked or anything, so somebody will be behind me and I just don't even care. <laughs> That's one of my weaknesses in these games, if you come from behind. Right? I'm just too lazy. Like, oh yeah, somebody's behind me, but what the fuck? Like, who actually does that? Which, of course, <laughs> there's a whole class dedicated to it in this game. Whereas a lot of games like this would only have it as, like, two separate ones as far as, you know, you would have just a DPS. Would Some of them would be meant to flank, but... It won't be its own category. That's probably my least favorite one too for that very reason. I don't like to flank as a flank character. I'll just play it like a damage character. And then I don't like to avoid getting flanked as anybody else. I guess most importantly a healer. But yeah, like I'd, I'd probably like healers the most and tanks then DPS then flank. Or generally I tend to play like a tank no matter what. I just go in there and expect to, you know, kind of face roll and just do whatever. We have no tank here, so this is going to be great. Then again, neither do they. They have fucking four... Wait, what? They have only DPS and flank. What a weird-ass matchup. So at least you can't use that as an excuse. Like, oh, their team is properly comped. But I guess you shouldn't really say that anyway. Eliminate all enemy players. The team with the most points win. Sometimes it does depend on the game mode, too. Like, this isn't... Uh, maybe as suited for tanks or rolls either, anyway. They literally have fucking five DPS, which could be pretty dangerous, too. You'll just get one shot by these people flanking you. Rampant Blooming, heal for a burst of 300, 200. Uh, reduce the cooldown of Blossom. Yeah, anything to do with the heal would be very much to my liking here. Yeah, when I first started playing, I don't think I even knew that there was a shop. Although it does say that right there. Maybe I didn't see it, or maybe it doesn't auto-purchase stuff right away and whatever. How did... They already get a kill. Somebody just fell off the side or something. But F is like the grappling hook that I don't really have to worry about too much right now. Just basically spam the Q. 
Okay, dude. All I have to do is stay alive and just can fucking actually keep these people alive. That should be the difference in the game, just the fact that we have a healer and they don't. What the fuck? I mean, I shouldn't be going out there as if I actually am a tank, but... Who is that other passive heal person that I didn't really like? I don't like when that's all they can do. I mean, you can have a passive heal, but... I'm getting in a little bit amount of damage, but... but look how far that one actually went. Okay. I don't know exactly who I should prioritize being around. Just as many people as possible, I guess. You have to be the little difference that you wish to see in the in the game here. Just whatever little healing I can do can make the difference. 9 to 13. We got plenty of time here. But I kind of got to dictate their position a bit just with showing like... Uh... Didn't it look like I got that kill? They actually do a decent amount of damage too. Look how they're all playing so methodically too. Like are they bots or something? Where they're just kind of peeking out of cover so robotically and stuff. Why? Fucking Mave clown chick over here. Just stay here. We were in a good spot. Like, everything was fine. Okay, maybe now it's not so fine. This chick's coming in like a clown. Like, how did she not get finished off in doing that? How the fuck do you not kill that guy? Maybe that wasn't the best ult, but it can help to turn the tide a little bit. Okay, just don't die. Just don't die. Of course, the strongest entity in all these games is not a tank or anything else. It's actually a fucking wall. Your projectiles can get through all these crazy shields and everything else. How did he hit me through that? Actually hit me through the fucking wall. Where the hell are they? Perfect use of that, I guess. Whoa, what the fuck? They're all there, but where was our team? Subs on 7 FPS. Why, why are we in the spot, dude? I guess I kept going from the wrong angle myself. We were doing good for a while there, but I can't hit fucking anything. Like, they're, they're not banding together, really, in the way that they need to do. Can't seem to hit anybody with that right click either. So F is just a good mobility type of thing. There should be a certain special treatment or priority for trying to protect me too, just because I'm so... Not only because I'm so bad, but because I am the healer, so you have to prioritize that a little bit. Could save others from death, but not himself. Like, we're, we're okay on the score, but I feel like... It's not quite enough. Come on. So we would actually have to buy one now, I guess, if we... Well, it'd be a crazy comeback if we were actually able to win this. Somebody's got to use, like, a god tier ult. We get all these epic passive heals that we're getting off, but it's just not going to matter. Or actually, that could be the one. The skill-based ult. You just don't keep getting yourself killed like the clowns you are. Like, uh... I guess I don't know what I'm saving the all for either, but like, just do something. Fuck. Or the one thing you never want to be is you never want to be the last person to die in that. Like, oh, it's literally your fault that you lost. So how many times did I actually die? And let's look at the stats and stuff. That one doesn't feel too rewarding either way, though, because it's all passive stuff. I healed for 44k. Heal diff. Like, they fucking healed for zero, yet we still get clown. I died six times, so at least it's not, like, the most of the team or anything. But yeah, look at, like, the Mayve Clown. one ten three. Like, what is that shit? I apparently got zero kills because my aim with that is so bad, but... Yeah, look how bad this team is. This Mayve did worse than me, and I'm the healer. Everybody else is maybe okay. Yeah, there's game one. We get one more to do that we have to do. So what I should do is I should use the 30k to buy both of those, right? And then we're guaranteed to have one, two, three with the champion tokens. 
if I do it any other way, then I might not. Because if I buy a 60k, then I'll be, you know, I might be short. But then again, I still don't have to because I could just pick one. Right? I don't have to place both of them, so I'll just buy one of them. But then what good is my gold really going to do me if I... Something's going to fuck me over. Like, I don't know what the tokens actually do, so that could totally bait me. I'll just do him, though, for 30k. Unlocked. Okay, a rifle and a pistol combination eliminating your tar for eliminating your targets. Oh, really? I never would have guessed. Your rifle deals 1,200... No, it's for getting your opponents to 1 HP and then failing to finish them off because your aim is so bad. A rifle and a pistol combination for eliminating your targets. Your rifle deals 1,200 per 1 1.2. Your pistol deals 165. I don't know how exactly you determine that. Look down your rifle scope to increase accuracy, flare, or fire off a flare. Swap between... Oh, okay. Q. Swap between... Enter stealth and hide yourself from vision. Not really my type of character. How is this guy a d damage character? You should be a flank character with an ability like that. Uh, hide yourself from vision while in stealth. Your energy is consumed. Bind your energy enemies and deal 250. Not very impressive though. I like the ones that just do a raw amount of damage. Dragon's Call. Deliver the spear to your enemy's base. Yeah, I shouldn't include that though because that's not something I had in all these other characters. Right, so that wouldn't be fair to do. They're already showing off an omen skin when he just fucking came out not too long ago. Or at least they keep showing him as if he didn't come out that long ago. It was like right around when I started playing this game that he actually came out, which was a while ago. Yeah, through all my stalling and cheesing and like playing it only once a week. Not that that was my intent, really. Oh, who did I just get? This guy? So, where does it even show you like your mastery level or anything here? Right, it would have to be him. I played Omen, Imani, this chick, this chick. I don't want to accidentally play somebody I've already played before. Alright, yeah, yeah, this is the guy. So just use Q. Yeah, this guy is totally not my style, though. It's making it too unnecessarily complicated. Which would be fine for a flank character. Oh, that Tyro looks pretty badass. <clears throat> Yeah, sometimes the free ones will stay for a long period of time. So it doesn't mean that you're always going to get... Even when I lose, I still win, though. That's the beauty of my whole strategy and design of this, even though it's not really anything to my credit. But we saved up at least enough resources. I don't even know how to how I got those little champion token things. Nocturnal, unauthorized, use crack shot. Increase the area flare will hit enemies. Increase your maximum health. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't really even care about those. Like, I'll pick one just to pick it, but... None of that shit should really matter. Oh, this is the team deathmatch thing again. Why are we only getting this? The biggest favor you can do your team is just don't die. I should probably play it more like this, but I don't know. First blood from somebody Q would be the switch, but I'm actually kind of okay with doing it this way. We almost killed them right there. Maybe I'm not doing it from exactly the spot I should be, but... They'll never get the killing blow either. I'll just do it like somehow... Wait, so what is F again? It's like you become invisible or something. And then Q, you switch. Left click is just a shot, obviously. Not really a good idea to do it in that situation, though. Whatever. I don't know what I was doing there. I'm distracting them. Flank, flank. I keep expecting to have like a mobility ability, like a hook shot or something. We were spoiled by that last chick. Where even are they? See, sometimes you'll just win just by not doing anything. Don't just get farmed and feed them. I guess feeding is a thing you can actually do in here, though. Not just for kill streaks or whatever, but just for the sake of money and whatnot. Because you'd be able to, uh... What am I even getting healed by there? Whatever it is, it's not really worth their time or effort because I'm going to get clown anyway. Somebody was down there. I don't even know what's going on, but we might still win at this pace. At least this one's going like slowly. Like nobody's dying too much. Okay, I got to try to use this because I'm just dog shit. I'll end up doing more damage just spraying like this than anything else. I never get the killing blow, though. That's so interesting. It's not like I'm not hitting them. 
But cool, we'll go on our best win streak ever with this dude over the course of like 10 episodes because I only play like fucking two, two games per time. But yeah, you could turn it into like a character class. Like you're only allowed to use the one gun with this guy, one or the other, each game. You have to go in and decide. So in the context of, uh, you're kind of like guessing where you are, I guess, but they still can't see you. Yeah, that wasn't a very good move. Um, like how with that one guy, Koga, I think with the melee stuff, you would feel like you're, uh, are you serious, dude? For fuck's sake. Uh, with Koga, like, oh, you can only use the claws or you can only use your gun. You have to just pick and choose. Uh, did that do fuck all? I guess I must have missed. I don't know exactly how some of these things work. I mean, obviously, that's just like a generic grenade type of thing. And what's funny about this sort of format is you could even use an excuse like, oh, you know, your first time playing, but not only, okay, it's your first time playing the character, maybe, but it's like, where the fuck even, oh, um, it's your first time playing the character, but it's not your first time playing this type of game or even the game itself. So you'd feel kind of like, uh, he's almost dead, but he'll never die. He'll just never die. Nineteen to sixteen is not that big of a deal, but it's so annoying. Like you'll get them to one HP every fucking time, and then you won't be able to do anything. Yeah, this totally feels like a damaged character, even though you're not playing it like that at all. How could it make any sense? This person has misrolled. Okay, fine. It doesn't even show you the stats or anything to see how shitty you're doing. Or, again, that might be an attempt to curb toxicity like in other games. They won't talk about how shit you're doing because they can't entirely tell. Just, uh, oh my god. Now, this tank is in a very vulnerable spot, but they'll still never die. That's just how it works. Like, you can't get out of there, can you? Okay, somebody must have used their alt or something. And I've only gotten my alt up once. This tank is basically impossible to kill. Doesn't even seem like they're getting healed really or anything, but... All this kind of crazy mobility. Ring around the rosy like a Scooby-Doo type of moment. Like, how did I not die there? I don't even understand. Okay, we're getting a couple kills now, but we're still losing, even when a clown like me is doing something good. This guy wants revenge. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, when somebody becomes invisible at something like that, they're still in the same spot, so you can still estimate where they are and try to do something. Fuck. I like the idea of the, using the scope a little bit, but... Oh, that guy was so low, man. Ah! Oh, I didn't even die. Somehow I just fucking soloed the tank there, even if they're a little bit low. Like, come on, bro, please, please. How hard is it to just fucking do this? Now everybody will have their alt saved up for the end. I guess, not even my type of character. They want revenge here, get out of there. Where did he go? But yeah, like, you could be good at just this genre without even having played the particular game, or bad at, you know, innate skills like aiming and stuff, and strategizing, and flanking. So those are just core concepts that apply to any game. And, fuck, good guess. Or you could be bad at that, you know, that's more of an innate thing to just look at. And so it has nothing to do with anything else. You can't really say, oh, you know, whatever, it's your first time playing a game, or even in the context of this run, I would have played the game enough to actually, fuck. I would have played the game enough to actually still could understand the maps and things like that a little better, even if not the characters themselves. Somebody could be using their alt in a very positive way, just don't die. Oh, come on. Just stay back, dude, just don't die, says me. We could still do it. 
Okay, get out of there. I don't want to be the one that dies, even if I don't do anything. Fuck. So that was seemingly at least an even matchup that should have gone the other way, but... Whatever, so we qualify the two, so you lose twice, but you still survive. But now we get to, let's say, she's 686. 696, 23,000 damage. I mean, not very good, obviously, but... Ira Banks does do a pretty strong base shot, though. Just auto-fucking-shoot. With this, you'd have to be more accurate with the scope and stuff. So I did do pretty bad, but at least the deaths aren't the highest. 74,000 shielding. Yeah, the tank was kind of the difference maker there. Right, all these weirdly comp teams, which can be fun sometimes, but sometimes it's just weird. So yeah, maybe that'll be as much time as I have in some of these, but basically we can just celebrate the fact that we know that we have... Uh, you know, buy the token. I almost want to do that now, just so I have peace of mind that we know. We can buy them all now. There's nothing else to, to do. In before another one comes out next week that fucks me over, so I better not. Right, because some of these might turn out to be free anyway. But we have the 30k for that, and we have the three tokens for that. So if some 60k new champion comes out like Omen, then I'd have to save up another 20k to try to do it. Or one of these could come on as free. So, who do we have left? We have one DPS character. We have two tanks. Inara, Nyx. So yeah, a lot of these are 60k anyway, so that means I obviously would have strategically avoided getting them to save resources. And then uh, the Shattered Goddess. You do see her a good amount. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Insert joke. I-O, because she's so pretty, right? Like A-Y-O-O, -O, the way that people say it, but actually... Haha, uh -huh. Hawaii anime girl. Okay, see you tomorrow.